Peace and love you, beautiful miracles of a spiritual level of being. Nathan here from a spiritual level of being, and today I want to discuss early Christianity and vegetarianism. Now, James the Just, Jesus' brother, in some stories recorded as his older brother, and in some traditions and stories, he was the next leader of the church. Now, he was known as a vegetarian and was raised as, as a vegetarian. Now, this is even mentioned by early church fathers, such as Bishop uh, Eubius, Eusebius, sorry if I butchered the name, and St. Augustine. Now, if Jesus was um, meat-eating and his brother was raised a vegetarian, this makes no sense. Now, this is because Jesus, Yeshua, was also a vegetarian. He was raised a vegetarian. He belonged to an Essene group community, which was one of the three major factions of then Judaism. Now, there were many different Essenes with different various beliefs and even interpretations of sacred text. Now, the scene where Jesus goes through the temples and flips the tables, brings out a whip and releases the animals because he's angry on the Pharisees, what they're doing in the church. He releases sheep, doves and cattle. Now, the Jews would eat meat when they sacrificed animals. Now, the Essenes opposed animal sacrifice. So there's a scene with the Essene writings writing about Jesus saying that he rejects the Passover lamb, saying he does not desire to eat this flesh with you. So, he was vegetarian. Now, the story of the multitudes, Jesus feeding the 5,000. It was edited in the second century. They added in fish to remove the vegetarian diet. Now, early church fathers do not mention fish when they're writing about this story. Now, John the Baptist apparently eaten locust bug. This is a mistranslation. There was a locust bean that was eaten from the poor community. It was a part of the Essene Jewish community diet. So this was changed. There were people eating crickets, locusts back then, but that was the upper priestly classes, upper class. Now Jesus, John the Baptist, their community took vows of poverty. So they were the poor class people. They would have eaten, eaten vegetable foods, especially with meat being harder to get for lower class people, but they rejected animal sacrifice. Now, they also rejected eating meat. Now, the Essenes that were known for their vegetarianism were one of the three major factions, factions of ancient Judaism. The Gnostics mentioned in their scriptures of the prayer of thanksgiving mentioned a vegetarian meal. The Gnostics, most of which were vegetarian. All the earliest groups of Christianity were vegetarian. Now the reason why I said most of which Gnostics were vegetarian is because later on some of them started eating fish. Now not all. Now early Gnosticism, early Christianity, were vegetarians. Now it makes no sense for Jesus and James have opposite diets and be raised differently if they were brothers. Now, Peter, the apostle of Jesus, later on after the crucifixion of Jesus, he changes his diet to veg vegetables. He becomes vegetarian, where he says that he eats vegetable pancakes and he rarely adds fruit. He mentions no meat. Now, this is because early Christians were vegetarians and there were church fathers that even mentioned this in their writings that apostles were. Now, the Catholic Church made it heresy to not eat meat, saying that, who are you to condemn God's creations, in a sense, and they called something simple as this as heresy, not seeing that it was an act of compassion, that people want to go back to the earlier roots of Christianity. Some people go back to early Judaism, say, oh, don't eat pork, but if they go back to earlier, they see it as a rejection of meat. There were even Egyptian um, priests that would reject meat, and restrain from sex and alcohol. And they were seen as um, pretty much close to divine in a sense. So having the strictness of discipline. So they were looked up to. So this was very common for ancient practices. Even in Buddhism, there's vegetarianism. There's some that eat meat as well that will argue over this. But the early core of Buddhism, sorry, of Buddhism was also vegetarian. So many religious groups started off as vegetarian and later on with the adding of meat was because to make the religion more appealing to others, to attract other people of different cultures. So when the Romans and Greeks become Christian, they also brought with them their diet because they seen vegetarianism as, as strange. The Romans, when they captured early Christians, would stick a raw piece of meat down their throat as a sign of disrespect and torture. Why? Because they were vegetarian, they rejected meat. So this is the reason why. I'm not telling you what to do with your diet, I'm just telling you about a bit of ancient history. I myself do a bit of both. 
I was raised eating meat. So it's it can be hard just doing vegetables. The last couple of days I've been just doing vegetables only. And it's great. I did my fast, went two days without talking and I'm still doing my fast at the moment. So I'm doing a three day fast and it's great. I encourage fasting, I encourage meditation, I encourage you to look up history and find what works for you. Be the best human that you can. Wherever there's another person, there's an opportunity for kindness. So peace and love everyone, I love you all. Connect to one mind and soul. Namaste.